Okay, so we open cold open. Jen looks absolutely gorgeous. I, I love, love it. This I know I love this yellow outfit. purple floral sequin thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and she's like pacing through the halls, and she's like, "Do you know where he is? I know what I need to do. No one should mm-hmm. tell me how I feel. It's not right." Mm-hmm. We see her barging on the guys and ask for Sam. Mm-hmm. And then she goes and knocks on a door, and we see it's obviously Sam's door, and she goes in. So anyways, we are now in Seattle, mm-hmm. which is apparently known as the Emerald City. Never knew this. Anyone from Seattle, please, please Shop let us comments. know if this is <laughs> true. True. They said it's because it's green year round. What? Sure. I mean, I don't think of Seattle as like green and lush. Oh, you but- don't? Not really. I think oh, it feels I like do. dreary and gray. I don't think of it as green. Oh, yeah. The weather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But even when I think of the city, I think of like dreary. Mm, like <laughs> London sure dreary? It's beautiful. Yeah, but you just always hear it. it's like rains there. It rains yeah. 300 days out of the 365 days. You don't hear anything about being green year round. So. Oh, I was given like that season when they filmed in fucking Virginia. They're like, Virginia is just the place for lovers. I'm like, y'all need to stop because (laughs) gaslighting, I don't appreciate it. (laughs) No, but I've at least heard of that, though. You have? I've at least seen the T-shirt. Virginia is for lovers with a little heart as the, oh, Oh, I've seen that before. (laughs) Really? But the Emerald City, I've never heard this in my life. I've heard that it's lush. I've heard that it's green. I've heard that it's like all those other things, but never the Emerald City. Love is blind. Went here out a whole last season. What are you talking about? Never Never heard that, yeah. <laughs> Seattle people, let us know. What are we missing? Have yeah. we been under a rock? I don't know. Anyways, we are we're down to seven guys. We have Grant, Sam, Old mm-hmm. Man River, Marcus, P. Davidson, Jonathan, and Spencer. Mm-hmm. And next week is hometowns, mm. which means three guys have to go home this week. <sighs> so sad. I know. That's ha- that's literally half the guys. Half in one of pop. Them. Mm. <laughs> that is rough. Um, she reminds us that she got sent home this week. Yeah, on jelly season right before yeah. hometowns. That's the worst. That might be the mm-hmm. worst. That is that the is, worst. It is the worst time to get. That's eliminated. the worst time. Yeah. yeah. Um. But anyways, we see Jen meet up with Charity. Mm-hmm. That's um. Exciting. Love that. She is obviously looking for advice on hometowns. How to narrow mm-hmm. from seven to four. It's like a big. That's just a lot in one week. It's a big it's job. A very big job. Um, Charity shared that during her season she had note cards for each of the guys and every wow. week she would like add a little note about like a new quality about that person. Wow. Which that's an interesting process. I'm so curious of that. Yeah. Like everyone's yeah. process. I would love to hear more of these little insights from the Same. leads. Yes. How they kept everyone's name straight, how they kept their wits about them and this very fantastical romantic mm-hmm. You know, I just jumped out of a plane with somebody. Now I like feel spiritually bonded to them. Like, but I need to like make sure I like am thinking straight. Like, uh-huh. how do they do that? You know? Yeah. And one guy hasn't gotten a one on one in Dubai or whatever. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. So that was an interesting little tidbit. Um, but anyways, she um Jen kind of runs through some of the guys. She said Sam reminds her a lot of her ex. Mm-hmm. Whenever anyone gets compared to an ex, they're going home. They're going home. Yep. Should have been home, actually, usually, yeah. those people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Again, she says they have a physical connection, but he's holding back emotionally. And yet he's still here, but okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she's been saying this for like four weeks now. I know. Um, old man River, she laughs a lot with him. She feels most herself with him, she said. Okay. Okay, girl. But she doesn't know. They haven't added one-on-one, so she doesn't know anything else. Doesn't about. know him, so there's yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. And then Marcus really likes Marcus, but she feels him mm-hmm. holding back because it's hard for him to be vulnerable, which mm-hmm. makes her hold back. So they're kind of like inching along, not at the pace that she would like, it seems. Mm-hmm. Now, the guys move into their new hotel. We have Sam talking about how he wants this one-on-one. Psycho. You know, <laughs> he deserves this one-on-one, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Meanwhile, old man Riverson right there. He ain't never right been there. on the one-on-one. Nope. <laughs> like, just right sitting on them me. group dates. Five mm-hmm. minutes a time. Yeah. And a date card and, like, gift box arrive. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it is for Marcus. Mm-hmm. I knew this was coming. I was like, oh, man, the same for you. <laughs> no, definitely not. Definitely <laughs> not. for you. Yeah. They always send somebody else. They always do that. They send somebody I on the know, second the double, one-on-one yeah. before giving the one guy who didn't get his his date. Yeah, to see yeah. if he'll leave. 
Yeah, yeah, because that's really what they do. They pushing you to get the fuck out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um. So yeah, inside the gift box is a green varsity letter jacket. Mm-hmm. Not sure. Just the no. Letter, just green. Just the color green. Is that? I didn't understand the significance of it being a varsity jacket. Oh no, it was just the color green, and then Jen had on pink. And okay, I was like, the varsity is that doing? Something? Oh no, nothing. Okay, nope. <laughs> So, so confused i was waiting for it to like hit or land i was like okay never did something. no mm-hmm. all right so time for their one-on-one <laughs> and yeah she says she wants to keep growing with marcus they need to move past this like vulnerability gap that they have i was a little confused here because i don't really know what she's talking about i feel like he opened up a lot i know i feel like he opens up a lot too but he shuts he does shut down he's like this is hard for me like i'm trying really hard but like this yeah. is really hard for me he's not the one who's gonna be like jen I just want to let you know I'm falling for you. Like, yeah. he's not that type. Okay. And I think she would like that out more of someone ex- who's not lying, like right. Matthew or Sam. <laughs> yeah, okay. So more open with his feelings, not necessarily just his, like, past and his stories, yeah. and, but how he's really feeling about her. Okay. Um, so anyways, they meet at the park. The host who stole Tasha's job was on Oh, shit. Trolley. Yeah, and a little bow tie. A little yeah. bow tie. And he says, you know, this is the Emerald City. Um, and basically, they're having a wicked themed date to promote this was the new movie that's coming out. So aggressive. This movie better be fan fucking testing. You want to talk I about a movie wait. that needs an Oscar, bitch? <laughs> They've been promoting this movie since the Kennedy oh Center Honors. <laughs> They've been promoting this movie for so long. Oh, oh my god. god. They've been in green and pink Cynthia and Ariana. I know. Hugged up together. Every press, every press that they do, everywhere they go, they're in green and pink. Oh my god, it's so crazy. When does the movie actually come out? Thanksgiving, I think? I think like Thanksgiving or Christmas. Or Christmas. They've been doing this for so long. Oh god. <laughs> Jesus, the budget was enormous, so they need yeah. to recoup. So they need to make <laughs> fucking shit out of this. And Ariana ain't cheap. I know her ass is expensive. So they're and like, Cynthia. And Cynthia's Cynthia's Oscar winner. To be fair, yeah. that's true. Mm-hmm. So yeah, they're like, we need to make our money back. Yeah, it's like Barbie press levels of like mm-hmm. collaborations and yeah. like all yes. that and like it's product so... placements, special you know episodes yeah. of The Bachelor. <laughs> like they doing the absolute most. <laughs> I'm excited. I fucking love Wicked. I've seen it twice. No, you have. <laughs> Have? i've have. only seen it once i loved it that was so, so good. good so so good Ugh. yeah anyways so they head off on the yellow brick road mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. daisy mm-hmm. and kelsey are there why are they there <laughs> why kelsey i can maybe understand daisy what the fuck are you doing here daisy girl oh my god i'm trying to understand her role like <laughs> i don't know she wasn't a winner of this show she's just this cute blonde girl she that made it to the sh- end I, she was runner up Runner Pretty up. Good. So we giving out prizes now for people who would run her up. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm tired. I'm so oh tired God. of seeing people just getting things just because. I know. No, this I is know. ridiculous. She didn't win nothing. What's she doing here? Yeah. Yeah, because other three were bachelorettes. That's true. Everybody else was a bachelorette or or Kelsey who won. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, who won. Daisy, what the fuck are you doing here? That was my whole question. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Thank God it wasn't Sam. He would have been like, Jen, I'm leaving. I know. Daisy, what you doing later? Daisy, what's up? Yeah. Oof. Anyways, they head down the little yellow brick road. There's like all these different challenges. They have to eat peppers. They have to pillow fight. Oh my God. This was the so... Uh, this. Were you <laughs> laughing during this part too? <laughs> it was just seeing people in the background. Like, where am I? <laughs> Wait, only on one side of the street. <laughs> really? Yeah, that. they were only on one side of the street. Very odd direction. I was yeah. laughing because I just thought about how obvious this product placement has to be because the bachelor has no culture Mm -hmm. like when things are sponsored in love island you don't even notice oh okay yeah they make it very subliminal yeah it's it's so it's because it's in the subtleties of the culture of the Mm -hmm. show Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so it's very easy to say like oh we're doing the pretty little thing challenge and everybody's Mm -hmm. wearing all the clothes and then they're like doing slime or whatever the fuck like it's just so easy yeah or like let me give you a massage and they're doing the first aid body oil and they're pumping it in and they're rubbing on their hand like it's you don't even notice that it's there this has to be so obvious because the bachelor has no Nothing to it is air. <laughs> <laughs> I have to just be like, it's sponsored. And you're <laughs> I know they have to scream it in our face. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh God. I don't know how to fix that with a show this old. 
they don't want it to be fixed, girl. We can't. <laughs> they don't care. I can only care as much as they want to care. And they true. don't care That's about true. anything better. So, um, <sighs> Oh, man. Um, okay. Then they had this one little challenge. They had to pick a box that said slow or fast. Mm-hmm. Marcus wanted to choose slow. Mm-hmm. And talked about how, you know, being a slow burn, he moves at his own pace type of thing. Jen was like alarmed by this because she wanted to choose fast. She and now says she's they're on different pages. <laughs> she says whatever they say they say to say. I know. I was oh, like, what? Man. Why? Ugh. What are you talking about? I know if we met her in person, she'd be completely different. That's so So much about cooler this. than this. I know. I feel the same too. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm seeing like a version of her that's like specifically curated for this role <laughs> yeah yeah but mm-hmm. it doesn't feel like it's the real her yes i feel like she's code switching on me yeah she's code switching yes. right yes oh, oh i God. hate that because charity was dope in person mm-hmm. she, was. she was so cool in person was. Yeah. yeah like i and not the same like stiffness it was stiff no. she's also like nearing the end of her contract and is like ready to well. just sing like a canary and it's doesn't have you know jen's in it now she's yeah, in the in machine it. you know she's thankful she's super gracious and mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so i get it but yeah i kind of want her to like say how she really feels or, mm-hmm. right i just get that feeling um anyways charity's there in a gown with a wand and <laughs> they then have to like pop some balloons and there's little mm-hmm. messages inside um we see a picture of marcus with his sister Mm -hmm. who he said is the most important person in his life and he got very emotional yeah this man has cried more in the last three weeks than he probably has in his life yeah (laughs) that's what it seems yeah Mm -hmm. it seems like it's a lot for him emotionally it's just it's doing a number on him it's exhausting him because he's not used to showing this much emotion and this is Mm -hmm. a lot of energy for him i think um then we see which is so interesting sorry yet tell me as we're both emotional people. Like oh, you crazy. and I cry on this mic all the time. <laughs> off the mic. Off the mic, I mean. Send the you things to cry. You want to cry later? Like send me. <laughs> <laughs> we love a cry. We mm-hmm. love a boo sisterhood. Let me help you while I help you, you know, type of moment. <laughs> Girl, we live for that shit. But and it takes nothing for us, right? It doesn't yeah. feel like it takes energy to do it. We just can do it. Watching Marcus is so interesting because you could see the energy draining from him by having these emotional moments, Mm -hmm. which is so interesting because it feels harder and takes like, it feels like it takes more energy to suppress in the way that you see men like Marcus do, you know, typically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I'd agree. We're just built differently because he's doing what we do and he's like, this is exhausting. (laughs) (laughs) You know? know? Meanwhile, I crave it. I'm out I, of energy yeah. if I don't do it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah, it is. It is interesting. I don't, I don't know. And I don't know how he buries or how he deals with it, right? We deal with it mm-hmm. by showing the emotion and mm-hmm. by crying and whatever. Right. But right. he deals with it some other way that I feel some like is not way. in this house. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like he's just starting to, you know, <laughs> spir- spiral a little spiral bit. A little. It's a little crazy. Yeah. His sister, I think, is really the His key. His sister. Yeah. He s- looked at her and was just like, boo-hoo, I crying know. in that one little picture. And then I they know. got a video of her as well. I know. This... They didn't have to do all that. They didn't have to do all that. That was OD. Well, they do on Drag Race, too. I see it. Mm, whatever. <laughs> and then Jen got a letter from her mom. And so, you know. Oh, nice so nice. Bit. Nice mm-hmm. long letter. Nice. Then they follow the road some more, and there's Trista. Yeah, jeez. I was like, they <laughs> dug her up out the... Dug her up. She got like two, three kids herself. Oh, my God. That are on their way to college. They're probably in the background. Mm-hmm. Oh, my Lord. And then they head up in this like hot air balloon. More mm-hmm. heights. Another date with I heights. Oh, yeah. Just a lot. So this one was kind of... They cheated with this one. The hot air balloon yeah. was like, attached to the ground. It was even moving anywhere. What? Oh. Weird. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, back with the guys. Date card arrives for mm-hmm. everyone except Old Man River. So he's finally yeah. getting his one on one date. Which he was not that excited about. Yeah, he's like, save a little bit for less. He, he, he. Okay. <laughs> no one's laughing. She keeps saying that he's funny. <laughs> she says he's the funniest one, and they laugh a lot. Like on their date, they oh were cute God. to me. They, she like she generally seemed like she was having a blast with him. Yeah, yeah. They seem like they have fun. They seem like yeah. they have fun. Anyways, back with Marcus, the nighttime portion mm-hmm. of their date. They have dinner in the middle of this like baseball. Yeah, baseball uh, field. Field. Did you notice that Jen was wearing pink and green again? 
She was. She was. The they trying to take magenta. this from the AKs. So bad. <laughs> AKs are having the worst year ever, yo. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> Worst, and no shot. Worst. What do you well, mean? Great day. They're great. getting the best year of <laughs> the their life. For Kamala, <laughs> but Wicked is like killing them. Yo. Is it? I think Our- the Wicked is losing this battle, and that's why they're sponsored by the Bachelor. Oh God, oh, Lord. Oh man. So yeah, Jen. Yeah, she's got on this like pink princess Glenda dress very that glenda hilarious to me the dress was like eating her up she was like shuffling across the like <laughs> baseball mounds like the dress was like literally swallowing her whole she's so Aww, tiny like she should not be wearing any princess cut anything um but yeah she's going in she says she's very worried that she's further along than marcus that's how mm-hmm. she's trying to feel mm-hmm. um but yeah we learn a lot about marcus yeah yeah his childhood mm-hmm. um him and his sister they their parents were like very unstable not fit to be mm-hmm. parents mm-hmm. um you know had a lot going on his parents the parents yeah. ended up dropping them off at daycare one day yeah, never and never came, came back, back. Woo. So they immediately went into the foster care system mm-hmm. and um, yeah, just very traumatic talking mm-hmm. about like people kind of like testing them out to like yeah. adopt them and then sending them back when they don't want them anymore and yeah. just kind of in and out of foster care and um, yeah, he, him feeling like there's something wrong with him, like growing mm-hmm. up with that complex, like he's not good enough and something's wrong. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, yeah, he was obviously very emotional this is where he said his confessional like some people in my life don't even know these stories or he doesn't Mm -hmm. open up like this with everyone even Mm -hmm. people closest to him um and jen was eating it up because she also feels like she comes from like tremendous dysfunction yes right she felt like peace almost (laughs) in him Mm -hmm. similarly having a very dysfunctional childhood and yeah it didn't rattle her like not one bit she was like Mm -mm. eating it up um so yeah gave him the date rose mm-hmm. and this huge fucking macy's day parade fireworks show honestly july 4th oh God, that was huge but jit my goodness now the next day jen is mm-hmm. on iheart radio with mm-hmm. jason mesnick and molly oh shit i forgot they were there they were there too <laughs> yep yeah and they did a little flashback to Jason's season. They did a group date at the same radio station. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Mm-hmm. I give my invite to the cookout to the producers for this date. I love this. This was a good one. This was a good one. Yeah, I like this one too. I loved it, especially because it felt very targeted. Yeah. It uh-huh. felt like Operation Expose <laughs> as a fraud. Yeah. And everyone knew the assignment. All yep. the hosts, mm-hmm. Jason and Molly, even mm-hmm. Jen might have got a little inkling about it. <laughs> yeah. And they just watched him get ba- Like, we all just watched him get buried in this. Yeah. Thing. Him yeah. burying himself was great to watch. Mm-hmm. And then doing it on radio. It was, I love this. They should do this. I want to see this every season. Every time. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm thinking of just now, now that you Mm -hmm. say it, we didn't get a like, write the lyrics, write the poem date. We didn't. This should replace it every time. Please. We are tired of that. Yeah. Yeah. No, No. we did though. We got the, um, which one? Didn't they do stand up comedy or something? Oh, fuck. They They did did this. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) They tried to block it out. Nope. We did it. It was funny though. That was comedy. So yeah. it felt different than like write a song about write how much you song. love Jen yeah, and it's episode two. One. No, like, yeah. fuck out of here. <laughs> These are good though. Yeah. This is good. I like this. Um, so before the guys come in, she tells them, you know, they're asking her, like, tell us oh, about the guys, mm-hmm. tell about this. Yeah. And she tells the host, you know, Sam stood out to her the most on the first date. Sam's the best snuggler, like mm-hmm. kind of a lot mm-hmm. of hype for Sam. Mm-hmm. Um but she says in her confessionals, you know, there's a lot of red flags. Mm-hmm. She doesn't feel as secure in their relationship. Something definitely feels missing and she needs to get to the bottom of it before home downs. Yep. So the guys come in and Pete Davidson called it. He was like, look, yeah, this is the day that Sam's going to blow it. Y'all just I watch. Know, <laughs> I know he did. And he, he knew. literally said, I'm immediately in my comfort zone, which made me want to throw up and I die. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. He's so lucky he's not the villain this He season. really, I know. Yeah. Because um, he's such a talker. And then usually yeah. that guy 
sucks. <laughs> or gets a, or gets I think a he does anyway. Edit. He like, probably does suck, yeah. <laughs> or gets a very easy, like, villain edit. But mm-hmm, he's lucky mm-hmm. that Sam is here this season. And Sam's worse. So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, he was like, oh, I'm in my comfort zone. I was like, oh, boy, here we go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, they play this, like, word association game. They say, like, different things about Jen or Bachelor. And then they say the first thing that comes to mind. So they go to Sam. They say fantasy suite. He mm-hmm. says aggressive everybody was looking around like like what what <laughs> she don't know you like that no and we don't want to know you like that no. so chill yeah and find a better word that sounds scary anyways <laughs> <laughs> they ask sam how do you feel about jen uh-huh very easy questions uh-huh. not a gotcha questions not a curveball nope. question he also went last it seemed yeah you had Everybody to go in front of you, steal mm-hmm. their answers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He said, fire, strong passion. Um, I've been doing nothing but falling in love with you from the first conversation. Then he brings up again for the millionth time the ferocious love. Oh, my God. Shit, she said in that first toast yeah. that everybody else forgot about but him. But him. He mentions again how he's looking for a reckless love. He does Someone, seem reckless. We got to buy him a thesaurus because these words, reckless and aggressive, I don't think they mean what he thinks they mean. They mean. <laughs> I, I, I get what he was trying to do with aggressive. It just didn't hit because it didn't hit. It's, and th- reckless, there's other people here. Reckless does not hit at all. This whole love? thing is reckless. <laughs> yeah, what? Like, no, 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 no. I don't want a reckless love either. I want a nice, boring, boring, love. stable, secure love. Thank you. Yep. Mm-hmm. Then he says something about filling up her cup or she's filling up my cup and just talking a bunch of shit. Like, yeah, yeah. Pure shit doesn't make sense to anybody, including Jen. Most of all, Jen. She was looking Mm -hmm. at him sideways like, uh, what? Especially when everybody else answered in three words. Yeah. And he just rambled on endlessly about (laughs) absolutely nothing. So the hosts excuse the guys and they mm-hmm. make Sam stay back so that Sam and Jen can get to know each other deeper because there seems mm-hmm. to be something off between the two of them or something. <laughs> Jen again asks another pointed question. Mm-hmm. What was your first impression of me? He goes on again on a rambling spree and immediately starts talking about himself. The question is about your first impression of me. Mm-hmm. And he talks mm-hmm. all about himself. Yep. And one of the things he said was, you know, I got out of the limo and thought this girl's not my type. I thought the bachelorette was going to be Daisy or Maria. This is where the start of him getting the Becky of the Year mm. award. <laughs> Jody, cue the Olympics music. <laughs> How the oh fuck could you say that with a microphone strapped to you and another one in your face? Yeah. And someone's going to publish this mm-hmm. and you're looking at the bachelorette right now saying, mm-hmm. I didn't think you deserved it. I thought it'd be the other two white girls who'd be in front of you who are really more my type than you. Mm-hmm. But your energy made me feel safe. <laughs> and then, and then girl, when mm. he said, oh, I, um, you know what? We might just get to it. What makes okay. you want this more than me? When we'll mm-hmm. get to that. Yes. Mm, okay. He, yeah, he got my Becky of the uh, the year, I guess, as well in that Perfect. moment. Um, and he just rambles about nonsense. Just tr- you know, I trust the process. You know, my yes. parents have been married thirty two years. You know, just rambling on and on and on, and just doesn't know what he's saying. I don't know why he would look her in the eye and say, "I thought you were going to be Daisy and Maria." Like, I'm just like this guy is not very bright. I this know. guy's not I very know. bright at all. Yeah, yeah. Kind of dumb. Like <laughs> <laughs> most people would know that that's just a stupid thing to say <laughs> yes, to somebody. Yes, right. And he didn't seem to understand that that was dumb. Like <laughs> just like and hurtful. Uh, that's a hurtful, hurtful thing to say too. And like, he also said, mm-hmm. "What do you um, you know, why want this with me besides the fact that we both want like a successful marriage and kids?" Right. And he said, your selflessness. You're not going to sit up here and call me a dumb bitch on a fucking radio show in Seattle. That's what you're not going to do. Mm-hmm. Okay. That is one of the worst compliments that a man can give you when you're not exclusively dating them. Your mm-hmm. selflessness. Yeah. That is the 
worse. That means you are not yourself around this man. That means you are giving up way too much. That mm-hmm. means that he knows way too much about the boundaries that he could push with you. That is nuts. That is yeah. crazy to say. And the fact that he don't know that already, he doesn't date the way that we think he does, like down yeah. in Charlotte or whatever. He's not I like don't think so. actively yeah. dating. He's probably hooking up and fucking all the time, probably, probably. running through them bachelorette parties like crazy. Yeah. But <laughs> dating for real, probably not. Because to say selflessness is wild. Yeah. He does seem rusty. That's a good point. He's yeah. Very rusty when it comes to dating and how to yeah just i don't know answer basic questions i don't know it just seems totally out of his depth yeah. very shocking as you said for someone who looks like this you think he's just like charming women left and right but he's not a charmer mm-hmm. i think that's Mm-mm. what it is Mm-mm. nope he can lay on the sexual energy like thick and yeah he's very good looking but yep. he, that's different than being a charmer right and, like talking somebody's panties off he's right. not doing that that's Devin. <laughs> Devin can talk and he Devin don't look like nothing to me, but he'll not charm me the shit out of you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Him and his doppelganger, Pete <laughs> Davidson. I, clearly, they be charming bitches. And they don't yeah. look like shit. But th- that's the difference though between Sam Sam is not a charmer. He don't know, he don't have the words. Mm-hmm. Um, and then yeah, he Jen even asked him, she was like, How do you know I'm selfless? Like even that is just such right. a grandiose word to use. And you don't even really know me. You haven't <laughs> seen me in context to be selfless. So like, where is that even coming from? You're just pulling a word out of your asshole. Like, but he does know because she did the heights thing and she jumped with him and he mm. succumbed to what he wanted. So yeah. he calls that selfless when oh, really true. he's trying to, you know, get one over. Yeah. Rule this relationship um and then even his when she asked him that he was like well you know you're either selfless or full of shit those are not opposites <laughs> everybody in the room was like where is he going like what is he talking about like it just made no sense ever it was really bad um and then he does what he usually does which is mm-hmm. he just randomly grabbed her face and just started making out with her making out with her which was... one looked aggressive it did two everybody was uncomfortable i felt uncomfortable for jen yeah like yeah it was just a mess anyways time for the 9 10 portion of the group date mm-hmm. i thought jen looked very cute in, in this little white i thought it was cute too a little ribbed yeah Maxi. had a little ribbed little <laughs> texture to it yeah it was cute mm-hmm um so she gets you know a little one-on-one time with everybody grant you had a nice time with grant yeah mm-hmm. i like grant i love grant i'm so surprised by grant i'm very surprised by grant as well yeah he said he was nervous he just talked about how much he respects her and mm-hmm. just loves how he was watching how she carries herself and um you know laid it on thick because he knew mm-hmm. since his time mm-hmm. <laughs> i can i can see myself being with you i've already chosen you i'm That's falling so in nice. love with you I'm just saying old things. Mm-hmm. Jonathan and Jen had a nice little time. Mm-hmm. I didn't really catch what they were talking about. Um, her and Spencer. Spencer. She said she always feels seen and understood. Yeah. Um, and then her and Pete. She mm-hmm. gives him big validation. So much validation. More than anyone. More than anybody at this point. So he's mm-hmm. definitely in the top seat. Mm-hmm. She said she's fallen for him as well. Girl, you could get him any day outside why (laughs) do you know how i'm going for grant immediately it would be (laughs) literally illegal for grant to cheat on me i'm marrying you what (laughs) oh my god God. jen please (laughs) but Pete, he could talk he could make her laugh like he He's got more than yeah. charm, but I guess Grant ain't Grant a charmer too. Grant's very charming and handsome and tall. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know either. Whatever. Um. So yeah, Pete, he's definitely going to hometowns. Obviously, she tells sure. him right here that she's falling for him. Mm-hmm. Um. And then we see Sam and Jen. Mm. So she tells him she didn't feel seen today. Mm-hmm. You know, something mm-hmm. is missing, and she needs answers. All that talking you was doing, and I still have <laughs> questions. Like <laughs> that's insane. Like she's so nervous. Oh god! And he again just goes off on just a rambling spree. You know, oh I god. said selfless. That's what I need. And then just rambles about nonsense. I can't even track. I that. know. I'm uh, looking at my notes now, and I'm like, this don't make no sense. And it's probably verbatim <laughs> what he said. Literally. <laughs> I mean, it's a tough feeling nothing. it's just something i feel just 
words. Just it's literally just words. Such the definition of empty words. Yeah. You could see, as he was talking, none of these words meant anything. No. <laughs> They had no weight to them. He said them, and then they just like floated away and disappeared. <laughs> yeah. They they held on to nothing. <laughs> like, huh? So Jen again asks, "Why me?" If you're mm-hmm. saying all these, like, why me? But why me? Mm-hmm. And he says, "Because I love you." And Jen gives her same cocked head to the side. Sam. Sam. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, I feel for her. I had to pause and start laughing again. (laughs) I was like, oh my God. She do her second I love you is another disingenuous I love you. Yeah. I really feel for her. That sucks. And she could feel it. She could feel it immediately from both of these guys, which is Mm -hmm. why she asks Sam, Matthew. Like Yeah. Y'all are not serious. Mm -hmm. And that sucks to never hear those words and you only hear them from two clowns who don't mean it. Yeah. That sucks. That just like ruins the whole moment for you. Right. And they're only saying it because they want to be influencers. That's it. That is really it. They want that podcast and they want the Instagram page. And that's why they're saying that they love you. Like what? My God. Oh, horrible. Um, So yeah, she's just like, I just don't feel like we know each other. You can't just say i love you it's a feeling i can't mm-hmm. describe it because he kept saying that too like yeah I can't put words yeah. to it like mm-hmm. which mm-hmm. is such a cop out and she's like you can't even express to me what it is about me right like that's what i'm looking for you can say you love me blah blah, blah but why like why me like mm-hmm. you can't even answer that mm-hmm. he again brings up the ferocious love and oh my god Ooh. At this point, she's literally almost like laughing at him in her confessional. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, yeah. where's yeah. the logic? Like, it doesn't even make any sense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, oh my God. Now, the next day, we see Sam's walking around the streets. All the guys are like talking cash shit about him being oh a complete God, fraud. So bad. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> he's in his confessional saying how he woke up today still in love with her and whatever the hell. Oh my God. I can't wait for his interviews. I can't wait to. Is he going to do any? Because the way his family be turning up on Facebook, it's like they really, like they're, they're, they got bad blow with Bachelor Nation almost. The way they're yeah. coming at Jen, yeah. Reed, yeah. yeah. And they've been doing this for weeks before any of this even came out, which is almost like spoiling it. There's no way he was going to win. Yeah, right. Like this, and they were know? acting like that. That's true. Mm-hmm. I uh, personally think that these kinds of white people never think that they're going to have the side that people are going to go with the side with the minority. Mm-hmm. They're mm-hmm. always going to think mm-hmm. that people are going to side with that white man. Mm-hmm. But we all watching the same show. <laughs> We're all watching the same show. And not all of us have sense, right? It's Check true. out the pre-show if you want to see my rant about that. <laughs> but, but there are so many more people who do not want to hear from Sam. Yeah. Yeah. And Mama Sam and Papa Sam. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know but if they realize that. <laughs> I don't think they realize that either. Yeah, yeah, I think that's where he got this from. Like mm-hmm. he's always like you said, he's always heard, he's always, always validated. Always, like it's always, always woo, yeah. trash. But he's gonna do something. He's gonna do Bachelor Happy Hour or something. I'm sure. Yeah, I can't wait to see who gets them and what the hell he talking about. <laughs> <laughs> the hell he got to say. God. Time for old man Rivers Day. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Maybe at that famous Seattle market where they throw the fish. Yeah. It's cute um it was a nice day he like made her a bouquet mm-hmm. of flowers they one of those good dates where they kind of do nothing they just kind of walk around and explore yep. have fun they laughed a lot they got their palms red mm-hmm. they yeah just great vibes a lot of smiles a lot of laughs and you could tell she really likes him mm-hmm. you see she she said before she's her most self around him or whatever you could see her like really like uh yeah just let herself go i guess mm-hmm, mm-hmm. time for the nighttime portion of their date they go to this like beautiful garden and glass museum beautiful great yeah, advertisement was, for uh seattle mm-hmm. yeah. and you know she says he brings the most me out of anyone here mm-hmm. um mm. and she just really wants to know with everybody but also with him like what why me what does he see in me yeah yep so yep, it's not even it's... just like her assessing him it's like we're saying these big things now, right? We're falling mm-hmm. for each other. You falling for me, blah, blah, blah. I want to take you home to see my mom or whatever. Okay, why me though? Mm-hmm. Give me specifics. Mm-hmm. Give me something to hold on to so I could trust yeah. that you're like genuine. You're not just swap me out, put somebody in and it could be anybody. 
Right. Yeah. And I have to sit in front of your mom and say, why him? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know? So. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, we learned a little bit about uh, old man over here, Jeremy. He says mm-hmm. he's always looked for someone like as caring as his mom. His mom's the nicest person in the world. She's like a very classic, you know, worrying Jewish mother. See how you can say selfless without saying selfless? Yeah, yeah, exactly. See? Caring. Like, caring. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To a fault. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Selfless fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> How the how the tides have changed on Sam. I know. Oh I God. know. Oh man, he was so really fortunate. riding my pony in the very first episode. And now I literally wish I never saw him ever I in my know, life. Ever. Oh my God. You had one job, Sam. You're so good looking. Just be a nice guy. Just be kind of nice so Just we can see nice. the fantasy suite vibes. Please. That's it. God. Anyways, Jeremy said he's only brought home two girls before, mm-hmm. and both were actually Catholic. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, his family seems pretty lax about who he's bringing home. It's not to be a Jewish girl, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But he does share that he wants his kids to be Jewish or at least connected with their Jewish identity. Mm-hmm. His grand grandfather was like a famous rabbi in Lithuania, so his like Jewish identity is very important to him. Mm-hmm. Um, Jen shares that she's Buddhist and mm-hmm. that's something she doesn't want to give up she grew up going to temples, sharing all the different traditions and so um, it was interesting just seeing them both Very. talk about what they envision for like traditions with raising a family mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but they both seemed very open to the other person's culture and loved this idea of this like blended yeah. Jewish Buddhist blended family. That was yeah, cool. Yeah, that it was cool. I was I very rarely do you see somebody who is so um culturally like I guess steeped in their religion who's so open to other people. Mm-hmm. That was cool, Jeremy. It was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um and so yeah, he gets the date rose, obviously. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, now you gotta choose between pet pet phone cases. Grant, I know, and Jonathan, and Jonathan. That's Ugh. tough. That is tough. But yeah, Jeremy, Jeremy, he surprised me. I thought this was a good date. I yeah, mean, it was. just seeing their connection, and then him, him speaking very openly about his culture, how he wants to raise kids. She spoke very openly and honestly. Like there was no like awkward vibes or anything. It was both like just openness. Oh, that's mm-hmm. cool. Like yeah, I want to do that too with my family. Like yeah, yeah. and. Those are kind of the conversations that you want to be having right before hometowns, right? Before I'm about yes. to meet your whole family and get steeped into your family traditions and shit. Like, right. So that was, <laughs> that was surprising. It was nice. Yeah. Time for the cocktail party. Mm-hmm. Jen is still feeling very meh about Sam and his shenanigans. Yeah. yeah. And this is where we go back to the opening of the episode, her in the gorgeous dress. She's like, mm-hmm. I owe it to myself to have a conversation with Sam. So she's like hunting around for him. Eventually finds him in his hotel room. He looks shook. Yeah, he did. Mm-hmm. Because she looked mad. She looked mad, and I think he knew. Yeah. He's going to have to, like, throw a Hail Mary and save himself <laughs> somehow. <laughs> <laughs> and we just see how it just, he just buried him in his head. That was a Hail Mary. And the rest of oh us, he was God. just burying himself alive with yes. every word that came out of his mouth. Oh, my God. That's such a good sports term. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Because he looked terrified in his face because she looked mad and he knew, like, I'm gonna, I'm either going home or I gotta like salvage this somehow. Yeah. And he yeah. looked really yeah. nervous because yeah. he's not very smart and he doesn't work on I the fly know. like this. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, that's true too. He don't like nothing on the fly. He likes everything planned out, ends with a lap dance. Now we're good. I get the rose. <laughs> yeah. That's his plan every time. <laughs> oh, God. So he apologizes to her for how the date went, mm-hmm. said some shit mm-hmm. again about being in love with her. And <laughs> she was just like, she couldn't even like take it. She couldn't even hear it. She couldn't no. even like marinate on it. Mm-mm. She was like, I'm just confused. Like, I don't, like, what are you saying? What do you mean? Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. you know, she was like, I was thinking you were going to tell me today that you didn't mean it. Right. <laughs> yes. You were going to take it back. Like, it yeah. was a joke. Like, it slipped. And he's just doubling down. I do love you. Like, what? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Then again, he just whips open his little live, laugh, love little <laughs> journal. 
love is a sacrifice love is understanding oh love you have to validate the other person just like buzzword buzzword i feel buzzword. like they're titles of songs or something that he's listing out it's like a bruce springsteen album or something <laughs> he's going just through the running track list. the track list is running through <laughs> just saying all kind of nonsense and she's like you're saying all the right things but none of it sounds genuine Sam. nope Mm-mm. she Mm-mm. literally said that to him she's like it doesn't mm-hmm. feel genuine not hitting bro it's not hitting he's like there's no words i can say to describe the love i think that only works when both of you feel that way yeah <laughs> You know, that worked with Ari and Lauren because mm-hmm. they both felt that mm-hmm, way. Mm-hmm. So they didn't speak at all. They probably don't talk now. Right. And like that, they've been married for a hundred years. For a million years. There's something <laughs> unspoken. Yeah. This shit you need to explain, Sam. Because <laughs> I don't feel what the hell you feeling. So <laughs> this, I don't have the words to explain. Well, you're going to have to find the words because <laughs> this isn't making sense to me. I don't feel the same way. Mm-mm. He says, I'm downplaying the way I actually feel. Like downplaying i love you girl i don't know what this man is. oh doing. my god he's so crazy <laughs> he literally started like nuts he was looking like yeah sam the other sam the, the other love oh, he sam. was looking like love virgin he slowly sam became, and he was clowning that dude like crazy two weeks ago and you yeah. look just like him desperate <laughs> yeah yep and like you don't know what love actually means mm-hmm 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 oh my god see oh i knew this i know his ex fiance was like see it wasn't no damn surprise y'all already yeah. knew i cheated on him at a bachelorette party in new orleans y'all know why, oh god. <laughs> see why. <laughs> lord that was terrible and yeah jen's like i just i don't think you see me mm-hmm. what do you see in me you keep yeah, saying you love me what is it about me that you so, see oh my god. Like, at this point she's trying for all the other women who are going to be subjected to mm-hmm. his lap dancery mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's swindling he's a swindler <laughs> he's trying she's trying for all those other women i have yeah. been there jen yeah. you are like you know what i wasted bad time with you but you're not gonna waste any other woman's time so Mm-mm. just Give me something. I'm going to try to yank something out of you so that you learn from this mm-hmm. experience and you don't leave At the least. same. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> what else did he say? He said, your energy Girl. soothes. <laughs> your energy <laughs> soothes. <laughs> it's like pure comedy. <laughs> I was laughing so hard. And I remember what she was saying, this good read about him. Sam centers me. I, I remember know. that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But that was way back then. This is now. Now, now you gotta meet your mama. Uh, tomorrow, let's <laughs> talk about my energy soothes your words or whatever. And then he said something again about ferocious love. That's something again. Yep. Just talking a bunch of foolishness, just in mm-hmm. circles. In mm-hmm. circles. Mm-hmm. He says, I love you again. And then, you know, you saw the best of me when I couldn't see it in myself. Like, what? That's when Jen was like, all right. I've yeah, heard enough, pack like, it up. Now we're going to the Lion up. King line, like <laughs> Mufasa lines to Simba. No, pack it up. Nope. Pack it up. This shit is fraudulent. I call fraud. And yeah, she leaves for a little bit, is talking to producers, and then eventually comes back and is like, I can't do this. Mm-hmm. I don't think there's any weight to your words. Mm. You keep saying you love me, but you don't actually know me. Mm. And this is reminding me a lot of my past relationships. It's triggering, actually. <laughs> so I'm going to need you to head out because I closed this chapter and I'm yeah. done. I love how she put that. Like, this is me feeling too. like I'm going back into my past and I yeah. want parts of this. Time for you to go. I'm out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and they give a dry little hug a little crispy very hug. dry Ooh, crispy was, church hug <laughs> Ooh, that was dry and then she head out yep good riddance sam oh, no, sam what an arc what an arc god oh, damn hey, what a j curve seriously no what's up uh, candy cane child <laughs> <laughs> and production hates him because even I his know. leave like his last few clips they kept playing any like voiceover of him saying just really trite things mm, i'm gonna keep the main thing mm-hmm. the main thing yeah yeah I'm that brand is dead thing. yeah <laughs> that brand she, is she done. wasn't filling my cup up like <laughs> they just kept <laughs> they ended with like four clips of him saying just like complete foolishness <laughs> and then that was it mm-hmm. oh my god yeah see you never say him yep time for the rose ceremony mm-hmm Marcus has a rose and Old Man River have rose. Mm-hmm. There's only two roses to give out. First oh. one goes to Pete Davidson. 
And then this was tough because I this liked all three of these guys. devastating. I love all three of all them. I was them. really looking forward to all three hometowns, Same. to be quite honest with you. Spencer, I wanted to see Spencer's warehouse and warehouse. that factory line of them 400 people that he had <laughs> working that line, getting them <laughs> mouse pads to yes. go. Spencer, Grant, and Jonathan were left. Jonathan got the last rose. Oh, we love Jonathan. And we love Jonathan. I'm happy yeah. for Jonathan. I can't wait to see his parents and everything. Yeah. So, guys, say goodbye to POC. Yeah, Grant. Grant. He had to go home to his barber because they were they had him fucked up this season. I'm I so tired of seeing him look like this. <laughs> so, I'm happy he's heading out, get a shape up real quick. Yep. Hopefully, I think we'll see him in paradise for sure. I want to see him as a bachelor. I know you do, friend. We'll see him in paradise. <laughs> <laughs> no! No! <laughs> I was going to say goodbye to Spencer. We love Spencer. Yeah. yeah. And Spencer really got a bachelor edit. That little edit at the end, right? Woo! I've never seen nobody call their mama on the phone on speaker. Mm-mm. That's They've a first. never shown that. Yeah. yeah. He was crying and the mom was so sweet. It's okay, baby. It's so, okay. Oh, my God. The baby. It's okay, yeah. baby. Oh, so cute. I love that. A grown ass man be <laughs> I love that too. Who crying to his mama. She's like soothing him. Uh, yeah. While well, she's running his Shopify. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the episode my friends mm-hmm, mm-hmm. now we did get the preview for next week for hometowns mm-hmm. we see marcus and his sister very emotional mm-hmm, mm-hmm. we see pete saying i love you yes in front of the door oh mm-hmm. lord we see jonathan's mother i think telling him he needs to put it all out there mm-hmm. yep i already know he feels behind jonathan feels yeah behind. i know i know which is ridiculous but yeah he I is know. behind feels like he's playing catch up and mom is like go catch your girl say what you need to say yeah you know, yeah we watched this before yeah you say i love you now yep <laughs> like <laughs> Or a falling. Have we dropped the falling yet? Like, just trying to make sure he's hitting these milestones. <laughs> uh-huh. And then we see Marcus. Marcus saying he doesn't feel he's there yet. He says something like, there's a difference between liking someone and loving them. And I yeah. think Jen deserves to be with someone who's certain. Yeah. Yep. So yep. That's wild. Is he sending himself home? Oh, my God. At this stage, that's crazy. I know. And they were left with old man River <laughs> for the fantasy suite. Marcus, you got to stay. One more week. One more week, babe. One more week. Oh, and you get to God. sleep over. You get a whole brunch in the in the morning. It'll be great. Just just stay one more week. I know. Because I cannot see an old man river old fantasy man river. suite. And Pete Davidson. I only want to see John oh, fantasy suite. I uh, literally only. That's only. the only one. But Devin's making it. Pete's doing He's definitely. making it the fantasy definitely, suite. Definitely. Just so fucking annoying. But... <laughs> <laughs> Friend, what did we learn this episode? He's a smart guy. Oh my God. You know, in the name of feminism, mm. should you try to repair your ex's emotional stability before oh he goes God. out and ruins everybody <laughs> else's life? <laughs> and yeah. even when you're on TV, it still mm-hmm. sometimes doesn't work. But mm. hopefully, you know what? When you're on television, everybody sees you. So hopefully the next one who tries him out, yeah. th- they know what they're in for. Yeah. Yeah. I always think of that. The girl who dated like Shake yeah. after Love is Blind. <gasps> Bitch, I know you watch Love who is Blind. Is I know you <laughs> oh, saw. No, he, did. He, did. he had a girlfriend somebody. like two seconds later, some little white blonde chick, like two milliseconds after the show. We all were yeah. like, obviously. <laughs> we knew this is exactly your type you hated deep D. you hate indian women like <laughs> right right um but like i always wonder who is that girl because you watched you watched the show yeah I know you saw this i know you saw he was terrible are you trying to like save him Ooh, or are you maybe you not care like are you just here for fame like what are yeah yeah do you think there's you? fame attached to this person maybe right. that you can leech right. off of the main thing Merch, merch, embroidery, <laughs> screen printing, <laughs> trucker hats. Like, <laughs> you know, I always Ooh. wondered that because Love is Blind, Deep Deep was universally acclaimed. Adored. Right? Yes. Adored. We all, women, I think a lot of men too were like, hell yeah. I think so. Just sucked. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But then you're the girl that dated him after that moment. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, why? <laughs> but okay. Anyways, um, my question, can you really know if someone genuinely loves you or not? 
Mm. So Sam is saying up and down, he loves you. He loves her. He loves her. Mm -hmm. Which I don't think for one second he really loves Sam. I, or Sam really loved Jen. So I was about to say, he does really love Sam. That's <laughs> for Sam. damn sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, I don't think he really loved her. Betty, I even liked her. Who even knows? I think he was maybe yeah, attracted yeah. to her and that's it. Mm -hmm. But you can't really know what's in a person's heart. But I think with Jen just asking basic questions, like the simplest question, why me? And that person can't answer with any confidence or any specificity about anything mm -hmm. about you. I think you can't know that that's not genuine. Mm -hmm. I think there mm -hmm. are like very specific questions mm -hmm. that you can mm -hmm. ask to the I love you person. To yeah. Really suss right. out what's real and what's not. Yeah. And I think yeah. she did a great job asking those questions. And we all got to see him exposed because yeah. he, he doesn't love her. It was yeah. so clear. Mm -hmm. It felt disingenuous to all of us. Yep. So, yeah. What do you think? Can you know? I think that's very true because she did ask him another question that I love. She asked, what did you learn about me last week? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like, oh, ferocious love. Like he had <laughs> no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I think last week, didn't she curse everybody out and send somebody home and like do something crazy? I can't even remember. I can't really remember either. We do a lot of recapping over here. Check us out every episode. We're here every week, all <laughs> yes. the time, right? Mm -hmm. But she had a moment where she was mm -hmm. like, you guys, if you're here for the wrong reasons and mm -hmm. leave, right? Mm -hmm. She had a stand up moment. Oh, somebody so, left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody, I can't remember. Mm -hmm. Oh, Austin left. I don't know. Whatever. Oh, mullet left. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. But she had a moment, right? Where she stood yes. up for herself and was like demanding that these mm -hmm. guys stand up for themselves mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. And for him to not remember that that happened when yeah. nothing else is even going on. You don't have your phone or television. Nothing even happened. Nothing Nothing's happening happens. in your life besides yeah. the show. Besides that, you should only be thinking about Jen from yes. morning till night. That's what everybody else is doing. Right. That's what Grant's in love with this. Woman. Yes. Because all day you're just meditating on this girl. Like, but he's oh, only thinking about himself. Uh, yep. Damn, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Let us know what you guys think. Can you really know if someone loves you? Yeah. How do you suss it out? What other questions yeah. could Jen have asked? Mm -hmm. You think she did a good job? Let us know. Anyways, rate, review, subscribe, everybody. Find us on mm -hmm. Patreon. Find us on Instagram, TikTok, all that good stuff. We're also recapping Love is Blind UK. So we are. We that are. drops uh, tomorrow? Thursday? Thursday. Thursday. Yes. Yeah. Thursday. Yeah. Thursday. Um, so yeah, join us for that as well. We'll see you guys then. Bye, guys. Bye.